The Watcher has just been announced. In this video, I'll be going over the announcement and stuff that you might have missed. Firstly, the little animated trailer itself. We see a shot of a strange white region. I have a pretty good idea of where this is, but I'll get to that later. Dragonflies seem to swarm around a single spot before being chased away by a lizard. There is blue rot hanging down from a pipe and also a pole mimic. A scavenger runs past in the foreground, moments before the Watcher makes itself apparent, with the title dropping. There's actually quite a lot we can discern from this small animation, and I'll go over it chronologically. Firstly, the Watcher may have some sort of invisibility mechanic, as the dragonflies do not notice its presence. By the way, I do know... <laughs> I am pretty confident they are dragonflies. I have been studying my Marine World background bugs as of recently. They do make batfly sounds, which is weird since dragonflies don't make any sounds usually. So they could be new, new batfly alternatives, maybe? Giant dragonflies? A lot of the stuff in this trailer could just be the artist interpretation on Marine World. So don't take anything with 100% confirmation. The rot in this area is actually unsurprising, as the region this animation takes place in is likely Aether Ridge, an already existing modded region. More about the recycled modded regions fiasco later. Now this could be chalked up to Aether Ridge just having the rot naturally, as part of one of its secret sub-regions. But the little animation at the end has a high amount of corruption growing on the text, suggesting that the Watcher has a high theme of rot in its campaign. I'm not sure what to feel about this, I don't really like the rot as an enemy. I feel like Rivulet is the most rotten the world should be. Anymore it just becomes kind of annoying. I played this game a ton and Proto Longlegs are my least favourite enemy. They are so annoying, so if I have a whole campaign full of them, I'm gonna be throwing hands, I'm gonna be fuming. We also see a pole mimic. Now this doesn't mean much, but pole mimics go extinct by Saint's time. So the Watcher would take place before Sane. That's assuming that more Slugcats is canon to the Watcher's campaign, which hasn't been confirmed or denied yet. I feel like the Watcher will take place in a separate load of regions, disconnecting from the main game's regions. It also assumes that the climate is cold, which Aether Ridge is actually not cold. It's kind of a joke because the region looks cold, but K. Poro, the developer, said it's actually just salt or something. <laughs> I just find that hilarious. So the pl pole plant could, could just be warm or something, I don't know. Next we see the Scavenger. Its head looks like it's wearing a mask, but I think that's just artistic interpretation. On its back we see two spears. One explosive, and another weird one? I think it could be electric spear, but that is a more Slugcats feature. It kind of looks like a paintbrush to me, scavengers do like to paint, canonically, but it's hard to tell because the animation is not in-game, blah blah blah. The rods of the spears are actually white in colour. It could just be artistic interpretation again. But you never know, these could be ice spears. Oh wait, Aether Ridge is warm, it's, it's gonna be salt spears. You get to kill slugs easy. Next, the Watcher appears from the shadows. The way it does so, I do actually believe it has some sort of invisibility cloak. It then steps forward and leaps at the camera, like really quickly. This might be a showcase of its secondary ability, a sort of dash move maybe. When it dashes at the camera, it makes the sound a pounce usually makes, which gives more evidence to a dash sort of move. Anyway we, see, anyway, we see the animated title, which has growths of rot in it, as mentioned before, and vine-like plants growing from the other letters. Next, we see the official promotion art for the Watcher, which looks awesome, by the way. The Watcher is surrounded by a fun ripple effect, which is definitely tied to Void Sea, as a part of the ripple is gilded in colour. Behind the Watcher is also Echo Scales, which suggests the Watcher is... Mm, I, don't, I feel like it's not really a tangible being, kind of like Saint. It would explain why I would have crazy abilities like going invisible, I guess. The actual environment the Watcher is in is kind of hard to make out, but I think it's some sort of memory crypts. As to the right, there is some memory crypt grates. I don't know, it's quite a loose theory. It's not really the focus of the art. That is the trailer analysed, let's move on to the Steam page. The description basically tells us nothing, it's actually like one of the most nothing burger descriptions ever. The only thing we can kind of glean from this is that there are new regions, which is kind of obvious, and that there's new creatures. One of the developers, Capin, who you might know from the Sufanthiel train room, did say that they are trying to make entirely new creatures rather than variants which Downpour seemed to prefer. Anyway, moving on to screenshots, we see a deserty region, which looks eerily similar to Badlands, and it's actually made by the same person, Fishnoid. They have come out and said that this is Badlands 2, Name is obviously not the final one, and it's kind of like a reimagining of the first Badlands. It also has this new sandy effect. In my opinion, this actually looks terrible, I hate it. But I have got confirmation that they are changing it. Remember, this DLC is in development, so anything you see is subject to change. Next, we see Stormy Coast. And you're probably wondering, like, wait a sec, isn't Stormy Coast an existing region already? And yep, Stormy Coast is being added to the DLC. 
But don't riot just yet. The free mods are not going anywhere. They'll still remain on the Steam Workshop for you to download for free. They'll just be integrated into the Watchers campaign, and they'll most definitely have new content to experience. Badlands Coral Cave, Stormy Coast, and Aether Ridge will remain on the Steam Workshop, please. They're not going anywhere, you can still download them. Just want to make that crystal clear. Alongside a version of these regions being assimilated into the Watchers campaign, Anything in the Workshop versions of these region mods that was not made by the original region creator has also been removed from the Watcher version. This means most code features, creatures, which rhymes, and music has been removed. For example, the little polywogs from Coral Caves are not going to be in the Watcher version. Same with the Stormy Coast threat music, which would be an absolute crime to remove. Like please, Akapara, reach out to Serpanoi, get the Stormy Coast threat music in the game, I can rest happy, it's like a banger. Anyway, any content removal will likely be replaced with new content, so it's not going to be a downgrade per se. Just a copyright free reimagining. <laughs> anyway, region tangent over. The Stormy Coast image. You may notice it's not actually stormy, but foggy. This fogginess is in Spearmaster's campaign when they visit Stormy Coast, implying that Watcher could be around Spearmaster's time. That's assuming that the whole weather changes based on Slugcat timeline still applies to this DLC. Next is Coral Caves. There's nothing really to say about this screenshot, it's just the old Coral Caves. I'm not really a fan of Akapara just saying, oh yeah, let's just put a bunch of mods in the DLC. Like, I've literally played them all already. It is pretty lazy packaging free stuff into a paid DLC with little to no changes. But, here's a big but, which saved me from being very angry, is that there is completely new regions in development and they'll be the main focus of the mod, with the assimilated regions just being there for padding. Next image is Aether Ridge covered in snow. It could still be salt though, it could just be a big pile of salt, I don't, I don't even know what this is. Next is the bisexual region. This region is made by Fishnoid, the same person who did Badlands and Coral Caves, and will likely be based on this gallery image which goes hard. There is also the non-meme version of this room if you want it. I prefer the meme one, it's kind of funny. Anyway, I'm not sure about this palette. It's very vibrant for natural colours of an area. It would work very well as sort of like a dream region. Maybe the Watcher can dream nail things like in Hollow Knight. This room also has dandelion peaches in it, which are a more Slugcat's exclusive plant. Maybe the code for the dandelion peaches will be unlocked by this DLC too, as Steam DLCs are not usually mutually exclusive. Then we get another look at Aether Ridge, but this time in a new subregion, Shattered Terrace. The Shattered Terrace was gonna connect to Gilded Sanctuary, an upcoming region. But since Gilded Sanctuary will definitely not be a part of the Watcher's campaign, Shattered Terrace will be without its purpose. I believe it will still be included as a sort of tutorial area for the Watcher, as it does have a theme of the Void and Echoes, same with Shattered Terrace. It would make for a thematically fitting tutorial area. Plus Aether Ridge being the first region we see could imply that it's the starting region of the Watcher. Next image showcases an entirely new region. This one is being developed by Rake, who also made Stormy Coast. The region is based on this room. For some reason I saw this screenshot and instantly knew it was a rake room from April of 2023. Like I don't even know how I know that, but I do. I think this region looks the most interesting to me. I like its theming of the Rainworld gates. The palette is vibrant too, but it's excused since it's indoors. And that's all the current information about the Watcher. Not much to talk about just yet, since it's mainly just showing existing regions. I do wish they show more of the new stuff as that is what I'm most excited for, not just Aether Ridge again. It is also highly likely that Fetid Glen, another region by K. Poro, will be featured in the Watchers campaign. Absolutely no hardcore proof for this, but I have a feeling that it will be in the Watcher. For my final thoughts, I do believe it's quite lazy, just sticking existing mods into the DLC, but they have hired the best region modders out there to work on this DLC. Kaporo, Rake, Fishnoid, and Capin are all very talented level editors, and so that I trust the new regions in development are going to be banging. We haven't seen anything from the code side yet, so hopefully it's not like on fire or anything. The sound system is still completely bugged by the way. I think if Andrew FM is working on this DLC, it's going to be fire. Andrew, what's your favorite lizard? My favorite lizard? Yeah. Um, I like the cyan lizards. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll keep you all updated with Watcher news. Who watches the Watcher? It's me.